Hello crypto traders, this is Matthew with Crypto Traders Pro. Today I'm going to start a new series talking about privacy coins and why I think they are arguably the most invaluable cryptocurrencies out there. Now we're always talking about here at Crypto Traders that utility drives value and a lot of these cryptocurrencies have no real world use cases. Whereas the privacy coins, they actually have real world utility. There's always going to be a need to make private financial transactions. So there's a big misconception with Bitcoin and that it's used as a way to hide your money or a way to navigate money throughout the world um, privately. And that's a big misconception because all Bitcoin transactions could be traced. They could be traced from my wallet to your wallet and every transaction that goes throughout the entire blockchain. So with Bitcoin, the privacy is broken, and this is something Zcoin is looking to fix. It's something they do fix very well, but there's also other, other privacy coins out there like Monero that we'll probably also do videos on in the near future. Now, the way Zcoin operates is slightly different than Monero, and a lot of the privacy coins, they work in their own unique way. With Zcoin, they use a process called minting. So the way minting works is essentially you're burning your coins so they take your coins they burn them and they give you new coins that have no transaction history so they can't be traced back to anything they're just brand new coins so the process of minting your coins is very easy and i'm going to actually show you how to do it in this video the slogan that zcoin uses is called mint spend repeat you mint your coins they essentially are burning your coins and then you could spend them sending them back to your wallet they're issuing you new coins and then you repeat the process and you could essentially, as many times as you want, just keep receiving new coins with zero transaction history. I've been talking with a lot of members of the crypto traders community who have been asking me to do a video on how to send your money around anonymously. So let's jump right into the video, guys, and we're going to be talking about Zcoin. So before we talk about Zcoin, I want to make sure you have other security measures and precautions that you're taking on your computer on top of using private cryptocurrencies. The first thing you should have is a VPN. Everybody on the internet should be using a VPN. What a v VPN does is give you a new IP address that cannot be traced back to your original location. So right now, I am connected to NordVPN. You can get it right on here, nordvpn.com. This is what it looks like. All you do is pick a country and it gives you a new IP. So if somebody tries to trace this IP, it's gonna show that I am in Italy. That's step number one. So the next step I would recommend you getting is an encrypted email address. And what I recommend is ProtonMail. They're not gonna share any of your data or information. This is a secure private email service provider. So once you have your VPN set up, once you have your email address set up, then I recommend making a brand new Binance account. I was gonna register for an account for this video, um, but I'm not gonna go through the process. Just make a new account using your ProtonMail email address. Very easy to do with Binance. There's no KYC, there's no know your customer regulations on it yet. And there's a big yet right there because um, the government and the SEC are working on getting all these exchanges to report all their customers on there. We've seen it um, so far with Bitfinex is starting to do it. Bittrex is doing it. Um, a lot of these top exchanges are now converting over to this where you're going to have to submit your license and all the information about you in order to trade cryptocurrencies. And I understand why they're doing it, but there's a few exchanges that don't have you doing it yet. So I recommend sticking with those for now. Binance is one of them. They give you a two Bitcoin daily withdrawal limit. So take advantage of that. If you have a rather large portfolio, you can make infinite Binance accounts and just keep withdrawing two Bitcoin a day. So now that you have the VPN, you have the encrypted email address, you have the Binance account that you made on a VPN with your encrypted email address, you should be completely anonymous thus far. The next step you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to zcoin.io and download the wallet. It's gonna take probably one to two hours to do this because it has to load and, and sync with the entire blockchain up until this point. So it does take some time. Once you download the Zcoin wallet, this is what it looks like. It is very basic right now, but it does what it's supposed to do. So download the wallet and we'll go to the next step. Once you have the Zcoin wallet downloaded, there are two important things that you need to do. Encrypt the wallet, so go to settings, encrypt wallet, you're gonna have to make a password. 
And remember that password. Write it down on a piece of paper. Store it in a safe. Don't store it online. Please don't store it online. Um, you'll get hacked or, or anything could go wrong. So just store it on a piece of paper. Write it down. Store it in a safe. Make sure it's safe. The next thing you're going to want to do is back up your wallet. So go to File, Backup Wallet, and then it's going to give you a wallet uh, .dat file. Put that on an encrypted hard drive. Store it offline. Do not store it on your computer. Do not store it on Google Drive. Don't store it online. Store it on an encrypted hard drive and keep it offline. So those are the first two things you're going to want to do. The, the next thing you want to do is head over to Binance. On, you could do this on your regular Binance account, wherever you have money. Um, you could buy Zcoin with your Bitcoin. So buy some Zcoin. It's about $20 per Zcoin. You could use your whole portfolio and buy Zcoin. You could do a little bit. It's up to you. I'm going to use 10 for this exa example. So by now you should have some Zcoin. You should send it over to the wallet so you could hit, hit receive, request payment, and then it'll give you an address. You could deposit right to that address. You should have some Zcoin in your wallet. Right now I have 10. Now let's say I want to make my Zcoin completely anonymous. I want to get new Zcoins that have no transactional history. I want to burn a hole right through the blockchain so nobody could trace me whatsoever. I'm going to go over to Zerocoin. So once you're on the zero coin tab, you're going to want to go down to the select dot denomination. And depending on how many coins you have in your wallet right now, I have 8.99 because I'm already minting one. Uh, I'm just going to select one because I don't have 10 in my wallet. If I had a thousand in my wallet, then I would do 110 times. So I'm just going to select one and hit mint Z coin. Then it's going to ask for your password, type that in, hit enter, and I'm going to be minting one Z coin. And there we have it. I just had one Z coin minted. You successfully mint one zero coin from the wallet. So this takes some time and this is going to probably take one to two hours to go through this process because you won't be able to spend until you have two confirmations minimum. So I'm doing uh, two Z coin right now. And when that's done, I'm going to go through the spend spend process. After about 45 minutes, the coins that I minted are now available and ready to spend so the coins have now been burned and now i'm going to be issued brand new coins with zero transaction history just by going through these steps so i'm going to click on spend type in my password again and you have successfully spent zero coin from the wallet so if i head over to overview i could see uh, i did this twice so i have two z coin coming my way brand new it's going to take some time to get back in my wallet but these are going to be brand new coins with zero transaction history. So this is the utility behind Zcoin, and this is why I think it's so powerful. A few other cryptocurrencies do things a little bit differently, but the zero coin protocol is unique in its own way. And there's a few other coins. I believe Pivx also runs on the zero coin protocol. It is a little bit similar, but it's not quite exactly the same as Zcoin. So maybe we'll do a video on that. I'm not too familiar on Pivx, but I could do some research there. Now, one thing I do like with Zcoin is that it offers masternodes. If you aren't sure what a masternode is, Essentially, you are holding coins in your wallet and you're verifying transactions on the blockchain. Now, with Zcoin, you do need to hold 1,000 Zcoin in your wallet in order to run a masternode. And it does take some technical skills to set up. So once you have a masternode, it's, you can see all the masternodes run on this tab. So under Z nodes, and these are all people running masternodes. And you can see these guys have theirs enabled. This guy has this for 45 days enabled. So... Every day you run the masternode, um, after a few days, I think it takes about 20 days now, you receive a payout. And each payout is 15 Z coin. So about every three weeks, you receive 15 Z coin in your wallet for running one masternode. And essentially, all you're doing is leaving your coins in that wallet and you're getting credits for verifying transactions on the blockchain. So you could run a masternode. As soon as you get that 15 Z coin reward, you could mint it so it shows no signs of coming from your masternode. And then you have 15 freshly minted coins with zero transaction history. They just essentially popped up out of nowhere um, for all anyone else knows because you can't verify where they came from on the blockchain then you could take those 15 z coin you could hold on to them you could reinvest them you could sell them you could do whatever you want with them it is up to you so that's pretty much it for z coin guys i really like this cryptocurrency the way it's run we did a interview in the past you guys should go check that out with ruben yap he is the chief operating officer 
of Zcoin. We'll probably get him back on the show again. The crypto traders community does run several Zcoin masternodes. So that's not to say I want you guys to all go out there and start buying up Z nodes because every person that gets a Zcoin masternode, it makes the payments that much slower for the rest of us. So when I actually first got looking into Zcoin masternodes, there was less than a thousand out there. And now there's almost 3,500 Zcoin masternodes circulating. But with every Zcoin masternode, you're tying up 100 coins of the total supply. So here is actually the statistics of the Zcoin masternodes. Right now, there's a total of 3,262 enabled Zcoin masternodes. So these are all people that are qualified to receive a payout. Um, the average days for payouts about 22 days to about three weeks. Um, and you get 15 Zcoin per reward, which is equivalent to $375. So you're getting... Uh, about $375 um, current price in USD per every three weeks. So that's it's a pretty nice chunk. It's pretty passive. Uh, you don't have to do much. Um, but there's always a risk because you do have to hold the coins that Zcoin could go down in price. I remember at one point Zcoin was worth over $120. Now it's worth $18. So it has come down significantly in price. Uh, this might actually be a good opportunity to buy some Zcoin. I'm not going to get too much into the technical analysis of it, but that's something you could check out on your own. I know right now a lot of people are stacking up on multiple Zcoin masternodes because they are, they are very cheap compared to what they were in December and January, where it cost about $100,000, 120000 to get one Zcoin masternode, whereas today it costs about $18,000. $18,300 based on current price. So that that's really good. It, it's it's much cheaper than it was before. Um, and going over to the Zcoin supply, I did want to mention every person that has a Zcoin masternode has 1,000 Zcoins tied up in that masternode. So that means in order for the masternode to run, it needs to have 1,000 Zcoins in the wallet that aren't touched. They aren't being moved around. They aren't being constantly sold or anything so they're all kind of locked up in the supply so with 3,500 master nodes that's 3.5 million of the circulating supply so let's do some math here 5.151 million 8 921 minus 3.5 million that means there's only technically around 1.6 million Zcoin floating around out there on exchanges that could be bought, sold, traded, or people holding on to them that don't have enough for a masternode. Maybe they're saving up and accumulating. So there's not that many Zcoin in, in total circulating supply. Now, with the 15 Zcoin that are coming for masternode holders, that's going to be increasing the supply. So there's a little bit of inflation with Zcoin. However, the maximum supply for Zcoin is only 21.4 million. So there's not going to be that many out there total. And I don't think it's going to reach this cap for uh, quite some time. But I also think, not 100% sure on this, but I think as soon as we get closer to this 21 million max supply, the Zcoin or the Z node rewards are going to go down. So you'll probably earn less than 15 in the future. It might take two years. I'm not sure on the exact time frame there, but it's probably going to take some time for it to go down. So I know there's people that are holding 80 to 100 Zcoin masternodes, which would cost probably about 1.6 million to 2 million. Um, that's a lot of money, but these guys are earning $25,000 every three weeks passively. So this is a great investment if... Zcoin goes up. If Zcoin totally fails, then they're going to lose a lot of money. But if Zcoin succeeds and goes up in price, then it's going to turn out to be a hell of an investment. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Zcoin video, guys. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel and drop a comment below if you're going to be implementing these strategies that I laid out in the video. Next video is going to be on Monero in this series and how to properly move your coins around and exercise the anonymity. Anonymity. <laughs> behind it. This is Matthew from Crypto Traders Pro and we'll see you on the moon.